best invention ever made. One buck. Hey, this goes this way. Alcohol goes here. Burner goes here. Grill goes back in the bag. Today I'm trying something new. This is E little THO 95%. This is full grain alcohol. Uh, yes, it is the kind that you can drink. 95% alcohol. I'm not planning to drink it. I might have a drop or two in some water or even in my coffee. But what I want to do is test it for the all-purpose idea that one, it's a disinfectant for your hands and it smells like rubbing alcohol. I have never messed with 95% full grain alcohol. But I'm going to I'm gonna put some right here. That's a small amount. And I'm going to see what happens. I thought you might like to join me in this quest. Let me pull my stuff around here. I do have a ferro rod. And believe me, I have never started 95 grain alcohol with a ferro rod. I have started, you know, alcohol hand sanitizer stuff, but not this. Okay, I'm, you know, I don't even know if it's going to blow up or something, you know. Take this off. It lit just like that. Perfect. Okay. That's the first level of success. Since a lot of the alcohol that we use for alcohol stoves is really quite high, uh, it's also been treated so not for human consumption. That means you couldn't use it in your water, you couldn't use it to disinfect your hands if you got cut or, or for any reason. I think it has some projected idea that you could sanitize water with it. I know it wouldn't kill everything, but if you had some just some questionable water, um, it might be the way to go. Uh, I know you can clean a lot with it, and now I have this nice flame. Uh, a small amount of it, it is rather expensive. But if it's dual purpose, you know, which is one of the, I think it's one of the, the deepest ideas about bushcraft and outdoor living skills is that each item that you have needs to be more than one purpose. You need to have multiple purposes and how you use it and interact with it so that you have less of it to use. Now that was a small amount and it has burnt out. And I think that's probably going to be the drawback. Let me put this back in my fire kit. Okay. It's hot, but it went out. At least I think it went out. This is, more, this is a little one ounce bottle. The original idea for this particular stove, obviously it's a gasification wood stove, but also has an alcohol plate, and I intended to use solid fuel in that. That was my intention, and it still is. All right, I'm going to use a small for a rub. Okay. All right, see, I'm... <laughs> I still don't know what to expect from all this. Probably that I should have had my water ready before I lit it, right? All right, Put that right there. switch. <laughs> Actually, I can get you. See, there's, there you go, right there. 
See, that's that's where you are, right there. You're like sitting over there, looking back at me, looking at you. Flip this around. What I think just happened. No, it didn't. I actually thought I heard that go out. But the fuel is all but gone. And that burns too quick. Now, the pot is very hot. Let me see what's going on here. Wow. I can understand why... You know, alcohol stoves, you know, they do a great job. I'm just going to get in here. Oh, yeah, that's plenty hot for coffee. It's hotter than I can drink. So uh, I'll set this off to the side for a moment. Wow. I had no idea it would get that hot that fast. So there's a nice full... But the flame is out. So I'm a little surprised that it did not last longer. Folgers, instant coffee. Well, I miss Folgers. I know it's instant. I, I know. I, I know what people say. But you know what? I don't give a darn. I like this stuff. You know what's really going to get kind of irritating from, from you purist out there? I have sugar. And that's nice and warm. What I did prove is that this is full grain alcohol. It is the kind that you can drink. Ah, oh, mama. Ooh. So I'm just gonna pour what's left of it right into my little stove here. <sighs> yeah, it's smooth. <laughs> two batteries that have just went <clears throat> I'll use my neck knife pop a little spark in here and boom she's lit these little knives like this they have a standard blade on one side serrated on the other you see that maybe hmm? um, they make great sparking tools I'm not even worried about it getting dull so so why don't we put our cooking plate back on, put our little bit of water we have up here. This is full grain, 95% drinking alcohol. No, I don't normally drink any of that, but you could. And you could use it for sanitizing any wounds or things like that, maybe even your hands. Um, and I thought if it was good for sanitizing, it might also be good for our cooking on. What I'm finding is that this cooks away so fast that it really doesn't have time to do much good. So, here we go. Let's come back this way. Excuse me. It's nice. I'll put a little bit of, uh-oh, uh-oh, mama, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm running out of water. See, it's really, really stinking hot. So let's put a little more water in there. And now, see, the flame is out. That's the problem with the full grain alcohol. I don't see it as an alternative. It did not work the way I had expected it to. So, Let's change that plan. Let's go to hand sanitizer. Oh, wait a minute. Let's get some coffee. So I'm just going to take my hand sanitizer. Nice little squirt right there. Let's go back to that ferro rod. This is one of the first ferro rods I ever had. Um... Uh, and it's been used a lot. It just doesn't look like it. Of course, now I got these big fancy things, you know, the ones that you could, you know, knock somebody over the head with. So let's spark it. And it is lit. There you go. And there you go. You might wonder what this little hickey do is for. 
This is something that I'm currently working on as using this pot to distill, you know, evil water with. Oh, I have a tube. I want to combine the Sawyer filter system with the tube and the stuff that goes with it and actually use the filter or something like it uh, to condense the water. Um, you know, if you have the filter, that's great. It doesn't fix everything. So, but I'm just thinking that if I had, you know, a way to distill water, and I've tried this before, but what happens is all the steam, you know, escapes around the top, and um, there's got to be a way to lock that down if you're going to get steam to shoot out of here and go through a pipe and then cool off and drip. But this is where I'm going with it. Hopefully we will figure out a way to make that happen. Now, this is still lit. There's not much of that hand sanitizer left in there, but it's still burning. Should be able to hear that. <laughs> 